have un he, he have to face undying, and also par Primal Beast will rotate it to the bottom. Plays out the game one of this match. So, alrighty, able to get the first blood. Omar looks creeps. Can't stop. Him. Ooh, Noob is gonna get blasted down, Makoto. You know, Noob has been playing it, I think, how you're supposed to, which is cutting waves and such, but as soon as he shows sure, yeah. Axe's long range, not quite enough to get the kill, but all he's gonna sneak in from behind, gets the tombstone out, but Kiori's already dead. They're gonna go for the tombstone kill, too. All he actually really wants that one. And he'll have it, but maybe giving up his life for it. We'll see. The TP's gonna come in. TA2000 is a little bit too low to go for that mode. Turn around, go for Q. Axe is coming in. TA2000 is a little bit low, and Ollie's heal has now run out. It's gonna be a close call between them, but the kisses! Oh, the kisses coming in, and they're gonna nail both of them just enough. It's Jabs who claims both, though, with the axes. The kiss is coming off the centaur stomp. Going for the kill onto uh, the Snapfire. They really need this one. Omar's gonna put him down. Gets the finger off, and that gets the kill, and they can't really turn around on a Primal Beast. They're out of damage, and the Axes failed to get the kill on Kiori. Making a break for the Power Rune. Jabs does get it ahead of him. Meanwhile, Malik is in a bit of trouble. No, he's not. He TPs away after a vacuum down the cliff on the Life Stealer. Very smart play. And they're back in again. Uh, this is where the Primal's heating up. Man, those recovery stacks for or Lasso ready on that spot. 12 minute power rune, they're gonna go for the kill on Kiori, but it's not a fast kill, and the Primal Beast will have his say. Trying to tramp all over Ollie. They'll have enough damage for it, Kiori. He might just die with the axes. Raindrop, the kids are gonna start raiding in. Maybe Omar's in trouble as well. One, or two, one. a third shot needed. No, the takeout wow. burn damage is what kills him. Now, that's a naked brown boot. They're gonna on. slow down that Drums of Slum. Welcome, Jabs. It's a Blink Dagger Diffuse a Blade combo coming your way. There's no TP. Oh, the Infest! No! The <laughs> Decay finished him off. They will be able to get the support kill and the Tombstone and chase away these heroes, so TA2000 won't be able to take the time to farm here. No kisses, so unlikely to be able to chase him down. It's an but expensive if they got TP. that Infest, it would have been a big save. Yes, that's what 22 is looking for, because you're going to give up top tower during this move. Oh, during he's got Lasso. Chase. They'll get another one. At least 23 gets a little more off of this rotation, as Malik will probably just punch the tier one to death up here. Very get to just too good. An axe before he gets ganked. Omar looking to start this oh, off. Oh yeah, he, he spotted just... right away. He realizes a bit too late. Yeah, you got to respect some of the Boar and Hawk vision on this map right now. Do Quest want to commit for this oh, they, fight? Yeah, they, the TA 2000 trained pretty deep. They do manage to get the roar on the real one with the kisses falling up, but they know the Primal Beast is coming, and he is dangerous. All he's already victim of that one. Pull back in with the vacuum. Jabs, let's see, he's going to fight around this. They have the Infest as well. A little bit of extra HP. The drums That's are going out, insane. and he's staying alive. They can't quite burst them through, and he's going to live through this one. Take down Quest. They lose two off of that one, and now they're going to lose TA2000 as well. He can't get away far enough. The Rod of Atos will help hunt him down. A one for three exchange for really. First in the tank. That's what I'm talking about. The EHP already from Talon is something you're going to have to worry about. Here. He thought they were going to get the burst, but it's Makoto who strikes immediately afterwards. The cookie on two lets the rest of Talon just swarm in, take him out, go for the mid tower next. This is a lot of momentum you're giving Talon's way. That's your Radiance done for life. Don't know how good this team fight is. For, like, this Rack Siege is very slow, and I think if you actually get sucked into the fight, I don't know if this is the fight you want. It's a very dangerous fight. That's how I'll phrase it, because there's back turnaround, there's a tombstone that might be very deep. Grab him during the, the range. Quest is pretty Life Stealer, good. is he going to lose his Aegis here? He's going to try and get out. Oh, the creep. It's the creep oh, that got no. lassoed. Q failing his initiation. Ollie trying to go in and help out the Life Stealer. Now he comes back on his second life, immediately pop the BKB. This is that big this item is usage, not good but he for has Talon. to just run away with it. Yeah, you need this to get the hell bad. out. There is still BKBs up for Quest. They're going to use the Primal War. Turn around on new Big burst damage. They almost have him, but no, the cookie. It was a little bit shy. He gets off the BKB, and now he charges right on through, back to his base. I guess sustain and the HP for Talon's going to get him out of this predicament, but that was starting to look sketch, right? It doesn't go on a creep. They got a Siege Wagon. They're going to go for it. Got the last one at TA2000, but he got picked up with the grab ally. They got the vacuum. Three-man vacuum back into the wall. 
Oh. A great setup with Noob getting the pulverize and jamming that damage straight into Talon. Oh, he's limping away. 23 still good to go with his BKB, though, when he lays into the darks here. He's now dead. They're going to have to use more buybacks potentially, as the initiation was great for Quest, but again, the help trying to deter it by getting into his position first, but they're going to get caught. Omar no defends himself. No BKB. You're right. The Batrider Q may be paying for it. The Finger of Death finishes him off. They do get the Primal Roar onto the Primal Beast, and Omar's going to die to the Life Stealer's damage. Oh, he's going to be chased down by Noob. He's having a hard time being able to burst these heroes down. There goes the Infest. Again, the Sustain is just out of control. They quickly deal with the Tombstone and focus down the dead Zombie Man. There's just no longer fight in the tank for quest soon, because this Aegis push, this is one that can convert it into racks, and they did one out, by the way, that yielded nothing here. Yep, absolutely nothing. They're, I think, very likely just going to have to give up this lane. It's hard enough to fight. Doing it without the wall seems madness. I mean, just getting a Lifestealer illusion, getting Radiance for yourself. Talent just don't pretty care. Good. And they found the Phantom oh, Lancer. Oh, 2000 gets caught. Could it be chained in with the cookie? The Pulverize jump in, but immediately the Primal Beast managed to get the roar off. Phantom Lancer is in deep. It just has to commit at this point in time. Oh, but the AoE damage is going to start raining in with the Kisses. TA 2000 is going to be first one down. Noob trying to stop the Kisses, but cannot save his carry or himself. Another cookie. P -p -p Put the Undying down three. As Talon just jam that timing straight into quest base. Sure, you have a Phantom Lancer to defend your high ground. There's not going to be much high ground left by the time you can get in here. Look at Jabs putting himself on the front line. Malik desperately trying to catch some heroes here. Managed to get a two-man vacuum. They do manage okay. to blow up Makoto. Good kill. Now the Pulverite's on a Life Stealer who's at half health. Look at this Beastmaster. A static charm. A charge. This man is a one-man electronic dance festival. He's just jamming it straight to Quest, and they can't stop him. Meanwhile, 23 still has that second life. These two cores just seem to be unkillable. Lasso pullback, but once again, the Undying. Able to counter that with a grab ally. But what about Jabs? DA2000 just keeps on running running into this brick wall, can't stop him. Why? Why is he still trying to run into it is the bigger question. You gotta kite this hero out. He's back in on top. Finally, the Hex comes through. Can they bail him out? Infest. Oh, the commit, the Infest. It's gonna give him a little bit of heal, but it's not oh. quite enough. But it does put 23 in a position to maybe finish off Malik. Go for more. Omar's a little bit low. Fortunately, a force down gets him out. 23, now gonna have to call it quits. There's no Hex. The kiting coming out from Quest. Stall this out. They're like, noob, hurry up, man. He's like, I need another 500 gold, guys. He's gonna come back, and I think he's gonna sell. <laughs> The thing is, you already have the drum stacks on him. All right, he sold this model, sold the wind lace. He's got the axe now. This break could matter. It could also not matter, depending on who gets their ult off first. Jump means everything right now. Kiss is going to zone to allow a boar to hit the racks. I don't know if this is the most efficient use of it here. T2000 finished Trying to make themselves out, managed to get the hex onto the Beastmaster. Do they follow they that up? The Do real they die for him? The lasso on the real T8-2000. The Pulverite's going onto the Beastmaster. They're going to focus him down. Jabs is dead. He goes down, and now Noob, he starts putting out some serious AoE damage. There's still 23 to deal with. Good force step up to the high ground. Beautiful sub from Omar. 23 is left with oh, nothing to hit while TA-2000 is going to town. They're in they trouble. They go chase after Makoto. They know they have to get out of here. BKB, Glimmer Cape, Silver Edge, all stopping. That is going to be Megas at a TP away from Talon. Have the Aegis, have the Refresher, have the Cheese, have everything you want. We're going to get a much bigger prize out of this one. We're still going to fight a little bit as uh, it is going to be Quest kind of delayed as they get back. Talon not able to get a strong single team fight there off that charge. It's going to be caught. Lasso with the Life Stealer. A nullifier on it means Noob can't even uh, jump away, even if he wanted to, the Onslaught. Does that might just like roar an illusion or something to get the stacks? <laughs> I don't know if I care about anything else. You get silenced. He's going to build him up here. Well, it's going to be put on top of him. He activates the Bloodstone. Great back vacuum. One. Putting some heroes together. The stun is put onto the real PL with a buyback now from Noob. He's going to pop. Second Whoa, back. Nice vacuum second with a second wall with a beautiful combination. Oh, they're just gone. Noob. And all of Talon wiped out. They really underestimated the power that Quest is able to This one, is it Makoto for Double Shredder? Or Double Roar? It'll be Double Roar for Jabs, it looks like. Who has this as well. 
Does he want the Phantom Lancer? That's another question. Also, is he fast? Oh, the Hex first. goes off first. That's they so aggressive. What a beautiful vacuum. Now the Onslaught. No, the Primal War comes in from Jazz. He refreshes. He's got a second one to go through. Who's he going to use it on? Looks like the Primal War a second time, but it gets put inside the Tombstone. Meanwhile, on the side, Malk, who after oh, that initiates, he gets a second wall vacuum in a tight He's little alive. corridor. And now the monster jumps in. It's a monster mash. Nuke jumps in and cleaves through two. Oh, 23, 23 still working for this one. He's got an Aegis, and he's going to rely upon it. He needs it, a second line to work with. As Jabs is going to try and help him out here, but Jabs, his second BKB, may not be able to stand up to this physical damage. They go for the Hex on to 23. Gets the rage off. Nullifier. Omar is going to die. Turns around, pushes back TA2000, trying to get the focus, trying to get the life seal going. But TA2000 Talon. may be too strong. They've got the They're going all in. coming in. A little bit of control. That's going to be enough for life sealer. Makoto comes back. Tier 4s are all gone. Jabs is fighting against all of these heroes with 23 and Ollie on the side. TA2000, it's a non-stop sustained battle that cannot seem to be won, but Makoto they doesn't Makoto. have that sustain. They see the option Whoa, to go on him, but no! They lose the Primal Beast, and TA2000 has to buy back as well. Talon, they're going to try and push through, see if they can get these tiebacks I mean, out. Is it, man. TA2000, who's full health now. Malik fighting with the wall, needs another vacuum, needs to be able to stop. 23 Savage, a vacuum goes out, but 23, he finishes off the Darks here. Two members left on the side of Quest, a throne that is low, now making one member left. TA2000 against four, he cannot do it. There is not enough lances, not enough illusions to be able to put a stop. That talent. You spend a lot of time farming the enemy side of the map, which should restrict the amount of farm that Terrorblade gets. And break the tide, and you can just all in him. You have a Shadow Demon who might also provide you a break mechanic in this game. A lot of things seem favorable for Quest if they get the gold going into that late game. Getting first blood would be nice. The blood grenade is not quite enough, but Omar does manage to snatch that first blood ever so barely. A trade out kills. Master ran the boar down the river to deny one of the water runes, and they claimed the other one. Nice combo here. Spear into arrow is going to claim the life. Molly gets off the tombstone, which will be farmed unless 23 can deny it. He does. Twice now, he's managed to get a big last. Or just run it towards mid with this catapult wave on Makoto. That sounds like the better option here. Get behind rune. him here. Will the talent supports get here in time? Arrow lands. Try and burst him. Looks like they got him. And they're going to be able to pump the damage into Q as well, who with the cogs may not be able to protect himself against the range heroes. Omar strikes and gets a killing spree. <laughs> Very nice game for poison there before you have to trigger it. Oh, he's going to get the, uh, the wisdom rune away. Q has to steal this one because otherwise Ollie, he's going to have his stolen away by Kauri. He's going to die for it, but Q did manage to snatch away that wisdom rune, so they'll get the kill on the support stations, which it's going to be bottom here. The hammer is going to work. There's another hammer coming for you, Jabs. It's about to crash into your skull. Yeah. Okay, Ravage immediately going to be put to use here. Jabs values that, but if he loses his life still, no, he's going to be fine. The anchor smash level two. Now the rotation from behind. This is what this I was looking everybody. for. 23 trying to make his first shapeshift go to work here, but Malik is already counter rotated and can protect heroes with the arena if need be. Twenty's gonna commit. He's gonna go for it. Kauri gets off the disruption. Bounced back by the Cox. Body blocked by his own illusion. Oh, the arena barely catches him. Kauri playing along the edges here, and 23 can't get out. Stuck in this arena for a while. Will finally get away, but the shape shift is now run out. He's gonna be caught up by Noob. Kisses raining in. Jabs trying to stop these heroes. They need to land the kisses. The bump back there of another round of cogs, but the kisses don't land enough. Tombstone's gonna be placed inside of the pit here. They fight for it. They go inside the pit to clear out the tombstone. But a cookie lands nice onto two of them with the meteor no hammer, hammer denied by the arrow immediately. Jabs trying to stay alive. Asunder last second from here. TA2000. Oh, the spear plus damage from Omar. It's gonna come out. They get that kill. Quest. They win this little skirmish in a big way. That has to be one of the stranger eight-minute fights I've seen Sir in Dota in recent memory. As Talon bring five heroes bottom, but they used the Ravage defensively early on, which I think Shadow is going to get noob in very deep with this Arcane Rune. Ollie's going to be spotted. Oh! Miscast on the disruption here. Ollie's still dead. A little. Uh, like, with a hero that has such a... High base attack damage, Malak gonna be forced to use another BKB, and uh, once again, a gank turns around, he's gonna get a kill on a support and then try and get out. Now, Q is here, so this time around they can punish him, perhaps. 
Ramp's Ram is going to be put to use here with the Kisses, and they will get that kill on Malik eventually. He's going to be saved by the Disruption for a little bit, but eventually run down. Noob, okay, hook shot, goes out onto Cowrie, see if they can burst him down with the Cookie Arrow coming through. Doesn't land on anything. Pulverize, though, grab the Wolf and beats him to death. TA2000 as a free fight. Ah, 23 just gets pummeled here on the commitment. Maybe if he doesn't get grabbed in that pulverized, that fight looks a little better for Talon. 23 gonna be ganked with his shapeshift on cooldown. This is not good. They're gonna TP in jabs, but this damage comes way too quick and clean for Quest. I mean, jabs just TP to take his creeps. Take a hero show from Talon bottom. The second that Tide shows bottom, all of a sudden Makoto's left a oh, little bit. Oh, the hook shot a little bit off the mark because in part of the rod of Atos. That's Maybe for the best, though. So they probably both would have died otherwise. This is just a really good map. If they somehow get past the Primal Beast. And look at these wolves. This thing's do so much damage. Yeah, He's they do. dead to wolves, Atos. He's literally just going to die into that. He's going to try to delay. Disruption's going to go out. Noob trying to blink forward to catch up to the Snapfire. Slowed down by the Scotty, but an interception by Q. Good hook shot, but the supports are giving up their lives in order to make sure their cores can just get away from a fight. This is a high ground tombstone and they still can't take it. Don't feel like they have enough damage to punch through this Bulwark BKB Mars and the Scotty finish Terrorblade, man. Malik is gonna make sure the Q disruption, it'll be there. That little self-dodge on the arrow. Oh yeah, and they win a fight next to the Roshan pit. So yeah, that is... Roshan that we were kind of imploring Talon to take for themselves. Yeah, uh, killing Makoto. Makoto has Cookie to play with though. Man. Off the mark. Quest are really just, they're just all over the map taking everything they want right now. The num there's no way to find numbers advantage for talent. It's something they're struggling with. Even in that fight where it starts on their terms, they have to back off even with the high ground tombstone you mentioned. And now it's going to be a Roshan going into TA2000's pockets. Scotty was completed for that last fight. He's already level 15, so 300 HP talent online. Suddenly the Terrorblade is 2700 HP with two lives. High ground is a fight. Ags is not a long way away for Noob here. And they'll just start in on a curious high ground push. Turn That's around Ravage with rabbit. the kisses. Unfortunately, the meteor doesn't land. It would have been nice. Grab Ally's going to be able to pick up that tie tenor, save him from the aggression of Malik. Q, hook shot barely off in time, and he's going to jet pack away. But the Snapfire is left behind. The Pulverize goes to work from Noob. Malik is somehow still alive in this vest. He's not going to get out for sure, but oh, it is zombies. concerning that Way Talon couldn't do the damage fast enough. I guess they didn't lose that fight, technically. Okay. Well, 23, barely getting away. No, maybe not getting away. I thought he was going to run down. Oh, gets hit by the Onslaught just in time. Disruption into Arrow. Oh, the Arrow didn't land. He's got a Manta up in two seconds, but I think the Purge has sealed his fate. Little demonic purge where the fight's kind of going to be won or lost in the arena and the Ravage here. Blink for blink for blink. Dabs, they'll catch him eventually here. A little Sunder to heal himself up too, why not? And they'll collect Ollie on the side as Malik is just one BKB, so he's going to have to kill Q going. to get out because the hook shot is up. So he's not going to be able to get away from this one. Hookshot stalls him long enough for the kisses to land. He's going to need every single one of them to hit. And it's not going to all land. He got stuck on the arena <laughs> to deal with the Tidehunter here. Oh, they're going to go for Malik while his BKB is on a nice cooldown. This is a nice move. With the shapeshift activated, they're going to try and pump in the damage. Can they get there faster? Oh, the Rod of Atos was still up. Okay, Makoto held on to that one. Smart idea. That's that Dolly does have. Oh, I think that spotted the Moonlight Shadow from Omar going off. So talent, or maybe not, Jab seems to be unaware. They're going to be able to break he got the BKB. Immediately pops BKB. Maybe he's okay. Oh. Hits a Ravage on three. Meteor Hammer trying to chain the lockdown, but it doesn't quite work. And they have jumped into the arena. They jump into a tombstone to try and stay alive, but Jabs, he walks through, but it's going to be run down. Still alive. Cookie actually able to keep him alive. Somehow this is kind of going okay for Talon. All they lost was the Undying. But then again, at the same time, they use... It's very it's close. Rapids goes out. Oh, right, it dies, but TA2000, oh, very so smart. Close. He popped the BKB to stop the stun of the Ravage. Immediately sundered Jabs, so he instantly died. And so they will collect everything from the pit, I believe, and they get two kills out of it. They chip away at this tier three tower, and it's going to force a response from Talon. 
It could be a closing team fight. Immediately a BKB goes out, Pulverize trying to grab him. Onslaught through the cogs here. Noob is going to get some decent damage out from the Aghanim Scepter. Not enough to kill anybody. Oh, Malik actually jumping oh, back into that three. one with TA2000 using the Sunder on a jabs, ringing him low. The BKB goes off. Q jetpacking himself into a wall. Makoto tried to stay alive off the tombstone, but couldn't make it out. 23, meanwhile, is the only healthy member. He's going for Noob right now, but the Onslaught is going to start charging him away, and 23 cannot pursue. They are just hoping that they can keep this tier 3 alive, but with Makoto gone, I believe TA2000 is just going to keep this pressure on. He's just claiming souls right now. Even the Shadow Demon disrupted. Oh, like they're going to catch 23 as well. Doing work. Disruption, arrow, spear. No save Easy. in sight if you're on. Yeah, one last hurrah, it feels like. Top Wave is pushing in with double catapult, double wolf talent, so if they manage to stall this fight or defend, they might actually trade oh, racks. Oh, another Sunder that kills Jabs. That is absolutely brutal here. TA2000 has had his... Okay, hook shot. They're going to go for it. Cox pushing in. TA2000, seeing if they can kill him, take away his Aegis. I think he wants to die got at this him. point. Yeah. Oh, Malik is going to be able to get a nice arena on two as the Terra Blade revives here. Really going to be disarmed though. New blinking in, grabbing Makoto. Makoto can't afford another death. Ravage going out. Tombstone save. Does manage to bail him out, but bailing out is a constant theme here for Talon. They may be able to survive through some of these engagements, but they've yet to be able to do any damage. Big echo hit. A Gleitnir on a Marana. They are desperate for anything at this point. Meanwhile, the damage is always there. Malik, TA2000. They're both putting out in spades. 23 goes for a BKB. You're gone too, son. A desperate call, a desperate time. I, I, with that said, though, even though it is a greedy lineup, the upside is that compared to that, like, their side of thing. Yeah, when you have a Timbersaw doing this well, you don't need to worry about uh, okay. the lane. Unfortunately, the gank Max HP down here. It's not really an opening. They will look top again, though, as three converge on TA2000 again. There's a lot of new damage with see if they can get the toss back into jabs. What they do with the Pango here, they're going to all in to see if they can kill the TV and trade out the Doom. They do not, and they lose two people for it. You're just going to make it up off of the mid lane win and maybe some yes. chrono kill that gets 23 Man, they are really the taunting Makoto, but Malik is finally going to pay the price for it. Uh, that's a, that's exactly yeah, what Malik Gets him for. back to him. Jabs, he's going to be chased underneath the tier two. Snapfire's going to make the rotation here. See if he can give him the cookie to get out. It does. And now Ooh. with the Scatterblast landing on so many heroes, might be able to get another one Radiant's here. Kauri's going to TP out. He's fine. Give him an offensive and a defensive play. Oh, they might find new. new being so low. This is perfect. He got the toss onto him, and they're going to be able to catch the Rubik. Oh, what Talon a turn for Talon. And a teleport. And that is plus two. Right, so if you can secure that hand of minus for him while he's still on the lane, it, it will mean a pretty big difference in its net worth. And now you can just TP Makoto back here when the Chrono's up and lay in the damage. Uh, okay, we do have Makoto. He's going to be here with some magic damage, and it'll be just enough. Two more int as well. Yeah. Bottom, which again, I I personally just don't like Pango in this position. I think it's very rough. Atos, Avalanche, not enough damage. Kauri's gonna live. He's got his level six. Makoto, okay, he does manage to get the kill on Kauri. He's obviously dead. Does mean he got a kill. And then they know TA2000 is just gonna take another tower off of them. Malik, uh-oh. He has died a lot so far, and he's gonna be caught again by another talent rotation. They are not letting this Timbersaw get away with the game. Continue to steal int away from Fusal to work and get some gold out of the kills. He's gonna TP top and look exactly for that. Start on Jumping jabs. On jabs. Tombstone's gonna be laid up with the immediate Doom Hurricane back into the Avalanche. Very nice setup. If he gets the toss back, surely they've got this kill. And maybe even trade off though. Jump in from 23, gets hit by the telekinesis toss back, but it doesn't matter. With the pickup on the Pango having the numbers advantage in the quest. No, they're back here. T2000 just gonna run into Q. They spot each other. Whoa. Whoa. Q, reaction. A little bit late. They go for the Undying instead. Quests are now going to TP in. Global Sound's going to be used. 23 bouncing around there. Glimmer Cape trying to stall. He's actually going to be okay. And 23 is the one in trouble. Oh, we got off the time walk. Just barely in time. Noob is now going to chase after. See if he can get the Rolling Thunder. Burst down jabs. Gives him a cookie. Turns around. Tries to go for the Doom. Misses. Now a Chronosphere. Where's the Kisses? It's lined up to be able to go for the Rubik. Maybe the kill on the Undying as well with the toss up in the air. They will just barely finish him off with the damage over time. Now the Terror Blade is also caught, but 
They can't commit. They don't have the man off, first of all, Makoto, and the fear of the Sunder will keep him at bay. Talon still have some supports hanging around here, though. They're not careful. Sunder, nice catch. TA2000 will make a fast kill out of that one. And Talon, that was a very important fight for them to win. Losing it means Quest has to want to push this. It's really open to the Terrorblade here, because you're going to have Aegis into a Scotty here in the next three minutes. Not take as much damage from this Timber Saw. Maybe you can mana for a Tombstone kill. Oh! And in his room, he ran through a Ward Sentry. That is so unfortunate for Noob. Double. And there's not much to stop it unless there's the utility behind it's him. Break on Omar. Gets out the Glimmer, but they have the dust for him. He will be killed. So, Talons push out to the other side of the river. Does catch a support quest. Not the biggest deal for them. They'll be able to chill out for a bit. They're working towards their big B BKB timings, which uh, was very important for them in game two. They're going to try and lead off here. New going for the blink rolling thunder. It's Makoto once, bounces a second time, but the BKB goes Ooh, on. Jazz Doom. actually went in, goes for the Doom, hits him with the stun after the Manta. Now he still has the vision to be able to keep up with the Terror Blade, but he gives up on that kill. He's kicked the Terror Blade out of the fight. They want to go for Noob now, who with his Shield Rune was doing okay, he but now disarm. he's been Chrono Sphere not disarm. But it doesn't matter. They've got the kisses. Malik with his own BKB doesn't worry about oh, the kisses, no but he is worried man. about the physical damage put out. Jump back in from Q, but they're resetting. They don't want to keep this fight going. Now that the Doom has expired on TA2000, they call the fight quits, and that is to be able to intercept. This team's going to smoke behind him. Q, just blindly jumping into that high ground, is going to be bursted almost immediately, but it gets a force back, back down, and he cuts the tree that Malik was looking to timber chain to. They're not able to pursue, while Noob had already used the Rolling Thunder. If he gets doomed here, it could be trouble, but they're going to hold off on it. 23, not too worried. He's going to pop his BKB, try and keep up. The Doom is going to be put to use here with Global oh, he, Silence as well. And it looks like he's going to fall. The Undying can't get anything off because the Global Silence is covering him. They finish him off with the toss. Buy back. Malik still chasing a BD buyback from the Pangolier on a second life with no Doom, but still a Chronosphere and still a Kisses. So you traded a Pango life for to yeah, show. You just let Quest walk back in the pit. Okay, they're gonna kiss us to stall this out. Yeah, now it means you don't have Chronosphere Kisses as a combo. Glightnir gonna be used on Malik, and he doesn't have BKB, remember? Oh, no! Another sacrificial buy. Pushed out too deep! This is and so now expensive. the point is here. He can get inside this pit if he wants to. He sees the Roshan's low. They're gonna play for time here. See if they can catch it as the Roshan is going down. TA 2000 still read? inside. They jump in. Blackbeard gets a little bit more vision. 23 says this. He got bounced. The guys by the Rolling Thunder. He's dead. He's stunned up and he's dead. Now the oh. Tiny's going to fall as well. Oh, what a disaster for Talon. It could have been the game winning move, but it turns into ash in their mouth as they thought they had the victory shout. BKP on cooldown for 23 Savage. Kill with the Tombstone, guys. I'm stuck. I mean, that's Shredder's duty right there. But that means Makoto has to walk up. And it's Gary Q trying to go for the toss back. Oh, the Chronosphere oh, the back comes line. in on the side. The back line is going to get dissipated here. Can the Terror Blade push through anyway? Looks like they only managed to kill the one support here. TA2000 gets off the Sunder. Perfect timing from him while Noob jumps in, looking to finish off Q. And he should be able to get it too, but it does mean he's in committed deep. Bob's VKB immediately fights the face's void while Jabs is still going for it. Gallery and TA2000 are low. They start backing up with the buybacks being used. Q's going to make sure they can't get away. A toss up in the air will help finish off the Pangolier will carry TP way successfully. If all they give up is new, will they find that's not so bad. Only, only, only for step. Ooh, he's good. Oh, Makoto are doing the wrap this around. Makoto so with a big target. They tried to grab him. A blink telekinesis goes awry. Q now intercepts. Big avalanche hits on two. They're going to chase after Makoto. He uses BKB. Rolling right, Thunder. Found 23. Of initiations. Global sounds being used. Uh oh. 23. Time walk gets off. Now we got the Chronosphere on to two with the kisses Where's going the in. Damage? They're not range of being able to get the two. Where's the damage? The 2000 He has a chance. Oh, Lotus Orb is not going to be enough. A stolen doom goes out. But they lost the A2000. He buys back immediately. He's going to try and get to this fight as quick as he can. They don't want to let Makoto leave. They cannot let him get out alive. And they've got him, I think. Aside the vice, he turns around, take throws one the with him. finishes off Omar before he falls. 23 the TP'd out. And meanwhile, Jabs has doomed himself as the yeah, terror blade doom. returns. Oh, Q! Oh, the reflection finishes him off. Q! He tried to save Jabs' life, but he might have just given up his own life. TA2000, a TPN Jabs, boxing in. Q 
getting a little no, bit Talon too close. He almost getting caught. A scythe. He's in trouble. He they gets burst fight. down. 23 trying to fight without his Chronosphere here. This is heavy commitment for Talon. And the they don't have their fight spells. And they overestimated help. themselves in this fight. Kauri trying to chase after him. Talon desperate to be able to keep these heroes at bay. Malik and Kauri just looking for the little bit of slow that allows them to catch up. But are they going to be able he to get there? Harry, he gets that one hit. I he tossed away. In. But no, he tossed away. 23. 23. And 23 time walked into the enemy. So it just means he got pushed into quest. Now a dieback. 100 seconds quest. Who gives a damn about him from going in and refresher for oh, jabs? No. He has another doom. Doom? In fact, he has two. Second. One more second. He needs the vision. He needs the detection. He gets it off now. But he might be too far away because he's back here. He pops a reflection. Second, a second doom. doom gonna be put to use. Maybe a toss back could be crucial here. Q, a toss straight up in the air. 23's just trying to get on top of him. A stun comes Are out with saves? that centaur. They get on top of him with the doom of the global sound. He needs to save. Make sure there is no saves from this undying. Now Noob rolling thunder in. He's gonna try and get what kills, but no, the blink away just in time. They can't, they have to get something out of this. Otherwise their carry is dead. Nothing on the return, and Noob now he's trying to roll out. Malik's back into play. BKB side the vice, trying to burst him, but he's gone. got him. No buy now available. Dead, trading out carries, and Malik looking for more. No Terrorblade for 90, but they're 40 gold <laughs> off buyback for the Faceless Void. However, Quest cannot make anything of this for Talon when all things are said and done, as they're going to put an Aegis on 23. It's a lot of extra damage in the Chrono. 23 going to be found on the low ground this here. This is Aegis. Sight the Vice, Force Staff gets him away. They're going to use the Global Silent. Oh, they're trying to go. They spot a TA-2000. A second side the vice put to work to stall up 23, but he's going to jump after them. The oh, chrono. funny, the heroes put their first Too chrono slow. goes bad. No heroes caught in the first one. And 50 seconds left on the Aegis. That might have just spoiled their Aegis timing. He's behind the meta. What are you doing, son? I kind of feel like he doesn't need more damage. It's just, do you land the chrono or do you not? Well, you are asking that as if maybe he had a choice and maybe he did not. Maybe he didn't, yeah. Maybe he didn't have the next on Oh, can they burst? Four snaps, Cookie, all getting he goes away. Back in. Noob, oh, the Chronosphere. It catches a lot of heroes. Is this enough? Tombstone's eight. Yeah, 2000, they got him inside the undying Tombstone, but a second, second Chronosphere. They heal up in the Pop Tombstone. Him out. They break him, him out. out. They kill him. They kill him. He's dead. He's going to buy back immediately. They're going to turn on to Malak, who's now going to be doomed up as well. If they get two cores out of this, two buybacks out of this, it's going to feel very, very good. They got him killed. It. Omar, as well as Kauri, are both backing away. Talon know they need to reset, though. The buybacks have been used. Do not overextend yourself. You blew double Chronosphere. You went through one of your dooms and forward another round of illusions. They know they kind of have to force Toss this. But who's going to be into tossed the doom? into the AoE doom? Can they bail him out? Oh, Where's damage. the tombstone? They can't. The damage is too fast. Now the meta's going to be on cooldown. When he comes back into the second life. They have to bail him out. They have to get in there and save their Terra Blade. Force Staff trying to get him away. He's Still got though, a fight. The Doom is a problem. A second one coming out. And the, the Terra Blade put into the Tombstone. Tombstone, they got to focus it. But they don't have the low Shredder. The Tombstone's going to keep him alive. Talon trying thunder. to walk away. He got oh, the he thunder. back in. He is went it the Chronosphere. He popped out of the Doom. And a second Doom now for Jack. But he did not even need it. The damage is overwhelming from the little Shredder. Shotgun Blast at the base of Quest and they are knocking him out as another round going into Malik. He's going to die as well. Two heroes dead with no buybacks. Quest, their hold is he was looking for is that's all he found from the Doom. They need Noob to kill this creep wave because Omar's catching the next one. Talon may be playing against time here at the back door. Protection can go back up. Creeps are gone. They are gone. Talon working their Ooh, way through a second tier four. Crit. Tier 4's down, I don't now think through the throne, matters. backdoor protection, it won't even protect against this kind of damage. Talon will get there first.